okay? So I'm here at the um, Arcadia, Florida, Florida Antique uh, District, and I love coming here because I get to find some nice stuff. I mean, it's a little overpriced, of course, because it's an antique store or antique uh, district, but they have many stores. I don't know exactly how many. I think they have two uh, antique malls in the district and several stores and here's one of them and i'm so bad at getting names and remembering them so i'm in one of them that just has a lot of stuff that you you come in and it's like kind of um like a junker's dream uh, there's no um you know uh organization or anything you just go through everything it's it's like a hunt. So I'm here looking at a lot of pottery. And this attracts me because it's blue and white. A lot of glass and pottery. Lots of collectibles that I like. So I'm here just looking around. Trying to see what I like. And this store I know has is re reasonably priced because I've bought from them before and I'm looking at Crocs because um I'm looking for a smaller one and Crocs are so expensive but I'm looking for one so I could I could hold my uh, kitchen tools and also I'm interested in getting a yellowware bowl this one was $12 but it was cracked you'll see there and it's not as big as I want. I want something uh, really big so I can use it as as a display. And this I liked, um, not the price, but I liked that it was a McCoy. But the colors kind of remind me of the 80s. So I'm not very keen on that look. So I like the yellowware look with the with the striping. Of course, I'm attracted to pink, so I picked this up. It's not Murano because it has the frosted bottom is what I've learned. Murano should be clear on the bottom, but they want $49 for something that's not signed, but it is beautiful. This one was cute too, but it's $25. And of course, it's pink. But I was looking more, I really want a uh, pink Pyrex for my collectible kitchenware. But that one's so hard to find. And I did find a pink Pyrex recently at an antique store, but it was cracked. $60. If I had room in my kitchen, I would love something like that just for decoration. Now this place has a lot of art. I mean, there is art piled up everywhere. The walls are covered with art. And um, here's, here's a large collection of Pyrex. But I didn't see the pink that I'm looking for. I'm looking for pink or the uh, blue, like the light blue. It would go so well with my kitchen. And I, I'm always attracted to the blue and white because I have a collection of that in my china cabinet. And they have tons of dishes. Here's another crock pitcher, $15. I do have something similar like that. I did like this goose or geese painting or are they ducks i think they're geese anyway it's really pretty and it's an actual painting it's not a print lots of vinyl oh i this is i believe is royal copley but 
behind that I do see like um a painting of right there uh, I think there were lemons that would have been cute if I noticed it for the kitchen oh I like this but I didn't even bother taking it out because it was it was it just had a bunch of dishes on top of it I like those, but too much money for me. A lot of stuff at antique places are mostly if it's something that I want, but it's hard to buy from there for resale. But I always go uh, because I love it, first of all, and then sometimes you find a good price for resale. Now, these are really cute Christmas vintage ornaments. Now these are cute. I wanted to see if there were salt and pepper shakers, but they were planters. And it, for the pair, $13, I grabbed them. I think I will keep these for my collection. I'm trying to do a little more, incorporate a little more vintage Christmas in my decor for Christmas. And this has the spaghetti hair trim both made in Japan. I had to check thoroughly to see if there's anything wrong with them for $13 for both. I was excited. I hope to go back there um, before Christmas so I can maybe buy some more Christmas items. These were cute. They seem um, vintage. Oops. Naked lady sighting. I'm like a kid in a candy store here. It's just a lot to look at. I have to um, go to those things that catch my eye. I love vintage toys, so I was looking at those. But I knew I wasn't in looking for any of those. And of course, I want one of these. I have one uh, currently, but I bought it new on Amazon. And I'm wanting one of these vintage ones. I went to look to see the price. I didn't see the price. And then I noticed the chip on the base. And I believe that might have been the price, but I'm not sure it wasn't connected to it. But these usually go for $50 and up. So I wasn't sure, but with the chip, and it also was missing the star, I decided to pass on it. But this year, I hope to buy one. A real vintage one. Now this was cute. But for $18. Hmm, it had holes on the top. I don't know what that was meant for. Maybe to hold hors d'oeuvres. But I only had two. And of course I was looking for a croc. But I don't want a brown one. So I'm looking... For one, this should have had a top, so. Just showing you some of the prices. They're very expensive. So I hope to find one soon um, at a reasonable price. See, like for example, this one was $500 because it's a 20 gallon crock. Now look at this beauty. It's a vintage washing machine for three hundred dollars i mean if you're in the market for it maybe it's a good price i'm not sure but here's more pyrex i of course was attracted to the blue but what i'm looking for is i believe is a lighter blue than this one but 28 dollars for this which wasn't so bad but not for resale
And I'm just browsing here, looking at all the glassware. And I come, <laughs> I come to this very unusual nude ladies. It's the handle. And I just had a look at it. And it says, set of five naughty mugs, $125. That would have been a um, a um, something to talk about, you know, like a conversation piece. Just looking at all the things that they have available. I believe this was a different story. Yes, now we're in a different story than the other one. I got confused because they had Crocs. And so did the other story. This was a different one. This is another story that, that does have some reasonable priced items when they have sales. So I have bought from them and I cannot remember the name of the store. I need to write these things down, but I get too excited when I'm shopping and I kind of like just zone out. I mean, it's a mir miracle I got footage. Now, this is funny because I remember my daughter, when she was little, I ha I gave her this for Christmas. And it's $25. And that was a cute bowl. I think they wanted too much for it. I didn't. I don't know if I looked at the price or not. These are cute. I wanted to find out how much a set like this was. $30 wasn't so bad if you're going to buy it for yourself. Nice pottery. This was creepy. Didn't even have eyes or clothing. And they wanted $150 because it was an antique German doll. Just so much to look at. And look at that rusted typewriter. Now that was cute. I think this was cute. With the with the uh lions, a hundred dollars. And then it's rare that I see black milk glass or glass so I always take a look at it and that was an ashtray that was pretty but I saw the crack I like that perfume bottle. And I think I didn't see the price on it. $30. It was cute. I'm into collecting perfume bottles now. That's my latest collection. But they have to be vintage and very gaudy looking. <laughs> 225 for this tool um what do you call it it would be a, like a where they keep your tools scary clown it's called a caddy that's what it is like a tool caddy lots of pink 225 for that set and i didn't see that one it was 200 and something Nice things. More clowns. Look at this. This is like $35. I think it's a butter dish. Murano clown. $20. They used to cost, um, they used to be uh, more valuable. 
several years ago. But now the price has gone down. A lot of the prices have gone down to a lot of stuff. So now it's the time to start collecting. They even had wedding dresses. There I am. I thought this was milk glass. It was plastic. And oh my gosh, pink depression glass. I love pink. And old bottles. This was a different store. This was another store and um I think uh, yeah, they had a sale. They had 40% off if you use cash on most items. I think it was the entire store. And look at this creepy thing. Isn't that crazy? I had to show you guys this. 425. Is this something about Eeyore? <laughs> it's creepy. That's very unusual. This booth was from a lady. The, uh, the owner was telling me a lady that just has unusual things. And later on, you'll see also she has a jewelry collection of turquoise, which I really liked. But they were up there in price, so I just admired them from afar. And this is a collection of cookie jars. And here's her turquoise collection. Your squash blossoms, your rings. The r rings were over $200. The squash blossom, I can't remember. I don't think I got the price for it, but it looks like she had lowered her prices a little bit. But we're talking, yeah, we're talking about in the thousands, which that's what they go for, but um, I'm sure you can find. I was able to get a squash blossom on eBay for $350 because it was an auction. It was unsigned, but it was it looked it it looks authentic. I mean, it is authentic, it's just not signed. Some uranium glass. Blue cobalt glass. And the milk glass that I like to collect. Didn't notice it was a Donald Duck there. I have a friend who loves Donald Duck. Or actually it was, um, I forgot his name, the father of Donald Duck or the grandfather. Forgot the name of that character. Looking at yellowware again, because I want a piece of of that. I think at this point I'm talking to my husband and we're just... I think I was educating him on yellowware and other things. That was pretty. I think they wanted too much. I can't remember what, what the price was. That's my husband's arm, not mine. For a second, I was like, whose hairy arm is that? <laughs> oh, my God. For a second, I thought I needed to shave or something. That was pretty. Uh, flower frog. I've been wanting a glass one. But every time I find one, it's cracked or chipped. I 
and this color really attracted me. These were Frank Goma, I believe is what the name is. And I actually have candlesticks in that color from the same maker. So I need to list those. It would have gone so great with these pots. I'm sorry if I'm making some of you dizzy when you're, you know, trying to record as much as you can so that you can see everything because I end up filming so much that I end up making these long videos. So I'm trying to make them shorter. And so you can't just go through everything slowly because you'll end up with a with footage of barely anything so i'm just trying to get and here is 75 percent off at the first booth that i go to that was 75 percent off and this was inside of the antique mall in the district and look what i see reminds me of of ashley rose where i got this macrame owl of course i i took it 22 minus 75 percent off i mean it was a steal and it was so cute so cute i decorate my house in a farmhouse decor but i'll i'll be sticking that in somewhere because it'll be like the bohemian farmhouse kind of look i do have like little bohemian looks here and there in my house Of course, I was attracted to this because I had a flower, but I believe I didn't take it, or maybe I did. I'm not sure. I don't remember. For only five fifty minus the seventy five percent off, I might have taken it. And stay tuned for next week. Um, next week I'll be doing the haul. And I'm going to try to do it like in the middle of the week. That way next Saturday or Sunday next weekend, I can have another video. But I was looking at every single item because it was 75% off. So I might be going a little slower here in this booth. I might be spending a little, little more, more time here. I thought these were cute. They look depressed. Little ducks. I think eventually I go back to it. But I wanted to scope it out entirely first and then, and then go back to it. I think here I'm talking to my husband. Because I had my hands full of stuff that I already found. So that now that my hand is free, I go back. To look at some the stuff that I was interested. I like this face. I was going to take it. But then I found a chip. That was a big chip. So I left it behind. But it was really nice. I, I'm not sure it was real African. I mean not African American. Um, Indian. Native American um, items, but it just that's what it looked like. I like this, and I don't know why I didn't take it. Cause nine fifty, uh, it was a purse for your hanky, which I did not know existed. I should have taken it. Now that I have so many hankies from when I went to the estate sale. Now, this was cute. I was excited, but it had no nose or beak. So if it was intact, it would have been a great buy. That was cute for maybe Valentine's, but I didn't take it. Now, 
Now this cabinet was locked, so I didn't want to bother unless it was something I had to have. That's the thing with some antique stores. They have things locked up. And I end up not buying anything from there unless it's like something I really, really like have to have. Now those um, ducks I really liked, but I just didn't, I don't know, didn't do anything for me. I mean, they were cute. I like this planter. But there was a weird a finish to uh, the corner of it. So I don't I don't know if it was a repair. So I think eventually I, I end up putting it back. But I have it with me at this moment. In the video. Now I thought this was going to be cute for my pink room. Because it's very shabby chic. And I could put florals in it. $29, wow. I thought it was a lot, but then minus the 75% off. I thought it was going to be more affordable, but I decided not to take it. Now, with my excitement, I do end up going to other vendors' rooms. This is an antique mall that has, like, different rooms and different vendors in each room and the, I do go to an area that's 50% off for planters so I do uh, pick up several planters uh, and I didn't film because I got too excited and I needed both hands so I didn't film that so that'll be a surprise when I do my haul next week and also when I go to check out um right by the register the owner has 75 percent off cabinets all around him with glass and pottery so i go crazy there and of course i didn't film that so that'll be part of the haul as well so you guys have to stay tuned So we're going to be closing real soon and um, I'll see you guys next week. So make sure that you guys like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to share my channel with other people. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to increase my um, subscribers. So I hope everybody has a good Sunday today.